Welcome back to the Danielle Smith series. This is the 10th episode and we enter into our second multi-part story. Danielle Smith's Nightmare Part 1 Halloween was on its way and young Danielle Smith wasn't looking forward to it. She didn't like this holiday as it had a reputation for being a dark, scary and dangerous night of the year. I really don't like Halloween, it's just too scary. This concerned her inventor, Father John, who grew up loving Halloween, but her mother, Linda, understood how she felt, having disliked it herself as a child. I understand where you're coming from, darling. I didn't like Halloween when I was your age. Thanks, Mum. I'm only eight, and I don't think Halloween is a fun holiday. John heard about it, and respected his young daughter's feelings about the holiday, and didn't pursue the topic any further. I get it, Danielle. Halloween isn't for everyone. That night, as she was settling down, her head on the pillow, she started to drift off. Sighs, finally, some peace and quiet. Little did she know her dreams were about to take a terrifying turn. She soon found herself running through a field, being chased by all kinds of dark and scary creatures and monsters. Some of them were from different cultures, but she didn't get a good look at any of them as she was busy running from them. There were demons, orcs, ogres, a banshee, gremlins, la llorona, the grim reaper, vampires, werewolves, zombies and lots of others. Also, to make any sense with this, she herself was now 15 years older so she could protect herself. The 23-year-old Danielle was a brave monster hunter, only she was the one being chased by monsters. She was terrified of all these monsters as a child, which she was in reality. She eventually stopped for breath, hearing Medusa sneaking up behind her. She held a mirror out in front of her and closed her eyes before sneaking up on Medusa with a sword, taking a swing at her and lopping off her head, killing her. She opened her eyes and picked up the head, facing it towards the monster coming at her, turning it to stone. The eyes still work, dead or alive, she said in relief. 